Little Boy was humiliated and kicked out from a toy store because of his skin color. When they found out who he was, the tables turned completely. Ethan and his family were arriving at the airport in a big city in the interior of Sao Paulo. They were going to spend 10 days on vacation and were anxious to visit the sites, restaurants, and get to know everything in the city. Ethan was a very powerful businessman in the toy business. Despite being very rich, the millionaire had come from a humble family that lived on the countryside of Rio. As he was of African descent and poor, he suffered a lot from racism throughout his youth. But that didn't stop him from growing and being successful. As a boy, he was spectacular and very intelligent. He taught himself what he could as he needed to work to help around the house. When he was 20 years old, he got a job as an attendant in a toy store. And there, he began to realize how much those simple objects could bring a smile to a child's face. His childhood had been very tough, and it was then that he created a project for a new toy and showed it to his boss, who was a very good man and helped him to develop the idea. Ethan wanted to make a toy that could bring the little ones as much joy as he wished he could have. He created a puppy that walked by itself, and it was a bestseller. He started creating more and more and more toys, and that's how he managed to set up his first store. Soon his store became a successful franchise, and Ethan, a boy who came from poverty, had become a millionaire. The rich man had a 10-year-old son, Michael, who, like his father, was very intelligent and humble, as Ethan taught him the value of people. Even though he was still a child, Young Miguel also went through several racist situations due to his skin color. He studied at a high-class school where the majority of students were white and some of his classmates were very mean to him, making fun of the poor boy. But Michael was learning to deal with it and treated everyone very well because his father and mother, Sarah, who was a black woman, gave their son a lot of advice. The boy was very happy and very creative. And like his father, he wanted to be a great inventor so he liked to draw his own toy ideas in his notebook. So the family was making this trip and they were very happy because Ethan was a very busy businessman and they had been planning to visit this city for a long time. The three walked around the city, went to several waterfalls, visited some tourist spots and visited many restaurants. One day, they woke up early and went to visit several places that were planned for that day. They went to the zoo and the aquarium and had a great time. As soon as the morning walk was over, Michelle asked his parents to go to a park. The family arrived at the playground and the boy soon ran around. He joined some children and played the rest of the morning. He climbed the trees, the slides, he played tag, hide and seek, and played in the sand. When he got tired, the boy took his sketchbook and started drawing some more toys he wanted to build, like a giant slide. Michelle had his father as an inspiration and also wanted to be a toy inventor. Arriving close to lunchtime, Ethan and Sarah called out their son as they had a reservation at a steakhouse where they were going to have lunch. When they saw the boy's situation, they laughed and the businessman said, You're all dirty, buddy. <laughs> you had a lot of fun, didn't you? Yes, I played a lot, Daddy. Did you see me going down the slide? See how fast I came down from the top? Asked the boy. Yes, I did. You went down very quickly. I'm glad you enjoyed it, son, replied the father, patting Michael's clothes to remove the dust. I also designed this slide. Look, Daddy, I'm going to build it when I grow up. A big slide. And the boy showed his drawing. The father rejoiced and said, Wow, that's a big one for sure. It looks great, Michael. I am very proud. Michael had very dirty clothes to go to lunch, and the hotel was on the other side of the city. The parents thought for a second about what could be done, and that was when Sarah came up with the idea of going to the mall she saw nearby and give her son to take a quick shower in the bathroom of one of his franchise stores. All of Ethan's toy stores had a space reserved for employees where there was a bathroom with a shower and a changing room, so the three of them went there. Arriving at the mall, they could already see the stores from afar, but Ethan and Sarah decided to go to a clothing store first and buy some clothes to dress their son. But can I go now, Mom? I really want to see the store asked Michael, who loved going to his parents' stores and was looking forward to visiting that one, since he had never been there. Yes, you can, but be careful and wait for us there, okay? Sarah replied. Okay, Mom, said Michael, running through the mall, jumping up and down, happy. On the way to the store, people were giving him a funny look. Some even whispered and pointed. 
It was obvious that they were uncomfortable with the presence of that dirty little boy. When the boy arrived at his parents' store, he went in and looked at the toys. He was delighted with the size of the establishment and was already picking up some toys. He picked up a cart that was very expensive. It was then that an employee saw him and thought the boy was going to steal the toy. He ran to the manager's office and called him. Boss, I think you better take a look at this. There's a dirty little boy messing with toys. And why didn't you tell him to go away? Are you incompetent by any chance? Said Igor, irritated. Igor was a sour man and had it being just a toy store manager. No one liked him and he was rude to all the employees, but they all obeyed him as he would fire them for the slightest mistake. And the employee continued. It's just that, boss, I didn't know if he was going to steal, but I was waiting to see, and I thought I'd better call you. Looks like I'm going to have to go there and do your job, huh? What do I pay you for, you idiot? Grumbled Igor, getting up from his chair. The manager went to the boy, and when he saw him, he was enraged. He realized that it was a poor, dirty boy and already assumed that the boy might be trying to steal the cart. Hey boy, give me the toy, you're not gonna steal it. And he took the cart from Michael's hand by force. The boy got scared and tried to explain himself. No, sir. I wasn't going to steal. But before he could finish, Igor, not knowing that the boy was the store owner's son, took him by the arm and started dragging him towards the door, saying, Get out of here, dirty kid. I never want to see you here again. Did you understand? However, the store attendant, the 25-year-old Camille, seeing the whole situation, thought it was absurd and ran to help the boy. She took the boy from the manager's hands and said, Boss, you shouldn't do that. Kicking out a little boy like that just because he's not clean and well-dressed. The manager got very angry with the young woman and shouted, Are you going to defy me, Camille? You know you could lose your job over that, right? I'm just saying this is a toy store, boss, and he is just a child, replied the girl. Does he look like he's going to pay for anything here, you idiot? Look at him! Igor was already completely losing patience. And the boy said, showing his notebook, But sir, I wasn't stealing. I just like to draw toys. Look. Shut up, kid! shouted the irritated manager. Igor took the sketchbook from the boy's hands and called the security guard. He threw the child out of the shop and said as he tore up all the pages in the sketchbook, Look what I do with this garbage. No, stop that. Give me back. The poor boy shouted, trying to pick up his sketchbook. The store security guard pushed the little kid to the ground, and the mean manager, throwing the rest of what was left of the boy's sketchbook in the wind, told the boy to go away and never set foot in that store again. And he even told Camille to go back to work, otherwise she would be fired. The young woman, completely outraged, glaring at Igor, ran to the boy who was lying on the floor and began to collect the pieces of paper. She apologized several times for her boss's attitude to the boy, but Michael was already breaking down in tears. She helped him up and hugged him, and, looking at the manager, Camille said, angry, I'm done. I quit. I will not work in a place that treats a poor, innocent child like that. Great, you were a really bad employee anyway, said the manager, irritated. The young woman straightened the boy's clothes and said, Are your parents around here? Uh huh replied the boy, crying. Then we're going to find them, said the girl in a gentle way, drying the boy's tears. The young woman went back inside the store to get her things from the counter. And then Michael ran away, crying, and found his parents, who were leaving the clothing store. When they saw him, the two hugged him, letting the bags fall to the floor and began to ask what had happened. What's wrong, son? What's up? said the father. Why are you crying, my love? said the mother. The boy was disconsolate, and amidst the tears running non-stop down his face, Michael told him everything that had happened. Sarah was stunned at the way her son was treated and wanted to go to the store immediately and fire that bastard manager. But it was then that Ethan told his wife that no, they would do it differently. He was going to teach the manager a lesson he would never forget and told Sarah and her son his plan. Then, Ethan arrived at the toy store alone. Even though the rich man is a very handsome, strong, and athletic man, even though he was very well-dressed and with an imported perfume that invaded the entire store, even appearing to be a rich man, just because he was black, 
he got bad looks from Igor. Good afternoon, said Ethan, approaching the manager. Igor looked at him from head to toe, and with a face of disdain, he replied, Good afternoon, what do you want? My name is Ethan Marcus, and I own this store. And showing his ID, he continued, I am going from each of my franchises in this city to get to know the establishment. Igor's eyes widened and he was completely baffled. The treatment has completely changed. In the sweetest voice he could muster, Igor began to fawn over the boss. Ah, uh, yes, this way, sir. And he started to show the millionaire around the store. I am the store manager. My name is Igor. We weren't expecting you, so we didn't have a big reception. Don't worry, I just want to make sure everything is in order in my stores answered the rich man. It was then that Michael went back into the store and the manager tried to scare him away. Boy, hey, hey, I told you to get out of here. And turning to the businessman, he said, I'm sorry, sir. This boy has been bothering us since earlier. I caught him trying to steal one of the toys. Ethan turned to the boy and asked as if he didn't know him. Were you trying to steal something, boy? No, sir, said the boy. I was just looking at the cart. He said just like his father told him too. So the millionaire said to the manager, Well then, treat the boy the same way you are treating me. Igor was perplexed for a moment and confused, said, But boss, clearly this boy doesn't have money to pay for any toy here. Ethan snapped, So your good customer service is selective, because in my shop, I don't want that kind of discrimination. All customers must be treated equally regardless of their skin color, clothing, or whether or not they appear to be in good financial condition. So now, attend to the boy. The businessman also ordered all employees to pay attention so that they would know how people who entered the store should be treated. Camille, the attendant who had helped Michael earlier, stopped and watched the scene, happy with the scolding the cretinous manager was taking, and with no clue what was yet to happen. The manager was embarrassed but he did as he was told. He began to take the boy from shelf to shelf, showing the available toys. Michael chose the same cart he had taken earlier. Igor got mad because it was a latest release toy and therefore it was very expensive, but he tried to contain himself and asked the rich guy, Boss, as you can see, this cart is a state-of-the-art piece. It costs $300. This kid sure as hell can't afford it. Do you intend to give the toy to him as a present? I don't have to give him anything because everything here is his, replied Ethan. The manager was confused. I don't understand, sir. This is my son, Michael, and he was treated like crap in this store just because of his skin color and his clothes, said the businessman, glaring at Igor. All the employees were speechless. The bastard actually took a step back and almost knocked over one of the shelves. He couldn't believe it and immediately started apologizing. Boss, I, I didn't know. The boy is... How was I to know? It was then that Sarah entered the store and said everything that arrogant manager deserved to hear. I am his mother, and he is an amazing boy. I can't accept how the world treats him just because he has more melanin than you with folks. You are a horrible person, Igor, and you should learn to treat people better. There's nothing worse for a mother than seeing her child crying because of ridiculous people like you who can't show the slightest bit of respect for others. So get out of our store now. You are fired. Igor's eyes widened, and he knelt down in front of Sarah and Ethan and begged him not to be fired. But the businessman, who was looking at him coldly, said, I never want to see you in that store again. Get up and leave immediately. Be grateful that we didn't report you to the police for racism. Let this serve as a lesson for you to reevaluate your horrible ways. Come on, get out of here. The ex-manager was practically without reaction. He got up in embarrassment and left, completely humiliated. Ethan also fired the other employee and security guard. Both also asked the boss to change his mind. But the rich man did not tolerate racism or the way they had treated his son. The two left the store devastated. So Michelle ran to the back of the store and saw Camille, who had gone to get her things to leave, since she had resigned and shouted to her father, Daddy, the good and kind lady is back here. The little boy's parents approached her, and the young woman greeted them, a little embarrassed. She had seen everything that had happened to Igor and the others from the back of the store. Ethan and Sarah thanked her for the way she had defended Michelle, and it was then that the owner said, It was kind of you to resign. We can see that you are a person who has character, but you're not leaving this store today. Now you are the new manager of this place. 
Camille was speechless and soon began thanking her bosses nonstop. The young woman received a very expressive raise and even won the friendship and admiration of the businessman and his family. And so, Ethan, Sarah, and Miguel left happily. Sometime later, the rich man launched one of the toys designed by his son, a model of a remote control car, and it was the biggest success. And they continued to visit their stores in search of hiring better people who would treat others with equality and respect. If you liked the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss and see you in the next story.